Hey y'all, welcome to Brunch with the Boys. Uh, we don't got King Dez today to, to shoot it off, because guess what he's doing? Spending time with his mother right now. Great man, great man. Something we should all do when possible. Hey, for real, this is Mr. Jen out here. Jeez, hey, what's good, everybody? Happy Mother's Day, ladies. Yeah, absolutely. want to take the moment to just say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Uh, most specifically, even the mother, most specifically, the mothers that may not even have a father out there to help them do what they're doing day in, day out. I mean, you guys are the most exceptional mothers having to play multiple roles. So real big shout out to y'all. And we appreciate y'all. Um, I'm sure your kids don't appreciate the fact that you made a horrible decision in a man as a father, but they appreciate <laughs> you as a mother. <laughs> thank you. Ladies, thank you moms for holding us down because so much get puts on gets put on a woman as far as a mother and expectations and things of that nature that they tend not to put on us men as fathers. And, you know, the bar has been set so low for us as far as fathers go that, you know, women really pick up all that slack. So we appreciate you. Um, something I want to bring up, you know, just to dig into this a, a little bit. Jen, you tell me how I feel, you feel about that. Do you feel it's the obligation of a man to get a gift or treat his woman in any way to a gift for Mother's Day when she's not his actual mother? Do you think it, the onus falls on the kids primarily or does that spouse mate person have a responsibility to kind of look out and take care of that mom? You know what I mean? Uh, to be honest with you, I think that, yeah, to be honest with you, I think that you got to celebrate um, that person regardless, um, you know, given the fact that they provided you some children. And I think depending on the ages, if you got younger kids, man, you the, them kids don't got access to the resources necessary to really provide um, a mother's a Mother's Day gift worthy of a day like this to really celebrate you. I mean, you can get them bootleg cards that they're going to give you and it's going to feel good for that moment to be celebrated by your kids. But let's keep it real. Women love gifts. And and at the end of the day, a card is just not going to suffice as a true that representation true, of a uh, gift, though. Is that true, though? Because it's the gift. It's the thought that counts is what we're often said. And your kids making a handmade card telling you they love you, making you a crappy-ass breakfast, that's more thought and love than, you know, someone going out and purchasing something. Because let's be honest, when a woman gets a nice gift for Mother's Day, we know who paid for it. Yeah. I know, would you say it's more, less about getting them the gift and more about teaching your kids how to respect and treat their mom? I mean, it is about teaching your kids that the mother who brought you into this world and the person that has taken care of you um, throughout all your life in so many different ways, factions or forms, uh, it's important to be able to do that. But you, remember, we are also supposed to set examples as men to ensure that they understand that we see that role as important too. You know what I'm saying? So um, as much as we want to sit there, they'll love the sentimental piece of that piece. But I'm telling you, they want that they want that Pandora bracelet. You know, they want that spa day. And I think know? it depends on the woman because every woman's not materialistic. You got to know your lady. You got to know the mother of your kids. If she's a gift person, then that matters. Some women prefer acts of service. Uh, you know what I mean? And it's not necessarily about the money. But um, I think what's important that you said is at the end of the day, you just got to show appreciation in one way. I don't think money, throwing money at everything is always the answer. And it isn't, but come on, man. Let's just really be honest about women and gifts, man. It is, it is. They love them. I mean, they love them. It's it, regardless of what, whatever your love language is or whatever the case may be, there is nothing like a show of appreciation in the form of a substantial gift, man. Uh, and 
whether whether you're materialistic or not, and I honestly feel like every woman is slightly materialistic, so I call bullshit on anything anybody who says slightly that. Slightly isn't a problem. It's when uh, they are. It slightly isn't a pos- problem. It's when they're openly materialistic where I find it to be an issue. So, so of course, appreciate a gift on some level. We're all slightly materialistic. I've never seen every every shirt I ever see you own is polo. You know what I mean? So I think on some level, we're all slightly materialistic and we enjoy receiving a gift. But what does it do for you? You know, I I prefer maybe uh, words of affirmation more so than a gift. So the love language does play into this, but let's not go too deep into that. I think it just comes down to showing appreciation. I mean, absolutely. But to be honest with you, I feel like every woman is going to want to receive something that they desired or wanted on this day um and no different than if it was your birthday you know what i'm saying you 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 are looking for something um that's desired now be honest with you, you some of the gifts could be a piece of acts of service um and it could go into other pieces as well like yep. if if we went and sit here and i did a glass blowing I, I gave you, I gave her a gift for a glass blowing uh, session where we're going to go out and do that together or we're going to spend some pottery or some shit like that <laughs> together. At the end of the day, that is something that both of you guys can enjoy. At the end of the day, it also shows that you were thoughtful and you, and you, and you put forth some uh, resources to a more substantial gift. But that's my play on it. Um, and, but you know, I'm a, after looking at, uh, the Netflix series Black as Fuck, and then also looking at this recent episode of Blackish, like I feel like I'm a money dad anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's- All right, well we talked about it the other day, but <laughs> yeah, you're keeping it real with yourself now. Nah, yeah. You are a money. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, 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 I more throw money in the situation. I will throw money at it when I don't want to do it, but for the most part, on half of that time, I will engage in whatever foolishness the kids got going on. So yeah. Find sure. your niche, find your niche and stay in your lane. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, that Mother's Day thing, though, I, I just think it's important to, again, reiterate that, moms, we appreciate you. You do so much mm-hmm. and so much lays on you and that pressure. So, fellas, do your ladies right, man. Do your ladies right this Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. I mean, w- so what's your thoughts in regards to, you know, the mothers that, don't really receive that level of appreciation you know uh, at the end of the day how 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 are we doing how how are we going to do a better job in ensuring that as a society man we really appreciate the maternal factor in in and in, in its importance and how it plays in, in our society man because real talk, i feel like we we shortchange the women in in the world you know what i'm saying on, that could go off from Mother's Day, so I don't really want to dig too far that way. But honestly, I, I, that's nothing we could fix anyway. You know, everything's case by case. Everyone needs to handle and take care of their home, and when you do that, the rest will take trickle down and take care of itself. So yeah. just appreciate what you have at home, and, and, and figure out what's important to you. Because for me, you know, you mentioned gifts and, and things of that nature. On Father's Day, I want to be left alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a gift per se. You just want to smoke one. I just want to be left alone in peace to do what I want and eat a nice meal. You know what I mean? I don't care if the meal is bought, cooked, and I don't care if you cook it or buy it because I'm gonna do it anyway. So I think it's more up to you. parenting is a thankless job. If you're doing it for a praise on one day of the year, if you're doing it to receive something back, you'll you'll be highly disappointed because these ni- these little niggas don't care. So. But the reality it is, it is a Hallmark holiday, um, one that's just designated for us to show that appreciation on this singular day. But we, right. if, you, if you're doing it the right way, man, you should be showing that appreciation day in, day out. Every time mom's does something for you, every conversation that she had, every time you went to her in counsel, any, any time that you, 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 you needed something Let's say you needed to borrow borrow some money for an investment or you you needed you were feeling ill and she came and took care of you or whatever the case may be. Make sure you're saying thank you and really showing um, appreciation in all the smaller interactions, because it's this is 
this is not just a one time a year type of deal. I mean, regardless of what you said, it's a thankless job, but it, people should be thanked because yeah. it's not an easy one. You thank, know you. Thank, thank you goes a long way too. And I think it's important to not forget where you came from. We get older and we forget that we used to rely on this person in so many ways. And we forget about that because we've done we've been on our own for so long, taking care of ourselves for so long. So we forget those times where they gave us money, where they paid our rent, where they, you know, helped us set our homes up, watched our kids, et cetera. So we got to really thank our parents and, and our mothers, you know, for those sacrifices that they make, because at the end of the day, none of us would be here without them. None of us. And I don't yeah. care what your mom did to you or how imperfect she was in whichever way she chose to keep you and you know raise you to where you are right now and i know this is case by case because somewhere there's a nigga saying my mama didn't even she dropped me off at the fire station nigga i understand okay yeah and, and, and all the but, love, your, but your ass is here though but your ass is she, here she, she, took, an opportunity, she, she took an opportunity to bring you into this world you know, yeah. whatever happened after that is whatever happened after that yeah. but you your ass wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her that's enough. That and, that that warrants a thank you. Yeah, to me, it's just like this is a good day to be to be a little nostalgic and really kind of take a moment and 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 look back at all the things that she's done um, for you. Um, sometimes shit. Sometimes you can think about some of the stuff that she did to you. You know what I'm saying? So if she if if you can think about all the times that you came home late and you wasn't supposed to be there and you got that beaten, you know, hey, listen, there was a purpose behind that. That made um, you a better person. Yeah. If she, if at the end of the day, if she took out a credit card in your name and 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 ran it up a thousand dollars, I don't really know how you really thank her for that one. Right. You know, that seems right. <laughs> specific, rather specific example. I'm, I'm not sure, but at the end of the day, she gonna hit you up with that. Well, you know all the all the stuff I done did for you. You know what I'm saying? But I I honestly think that. You know, mothers are human beings, um, which, and then if you think about human beings, we're imperfect at best. And, you know, we, they made mistakes. Even if you're a parent right now, and, and both of us are, we've made mistakes. At the end of the day, the purpose is that, that you're, that you're doing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, uh, cause there's a lot of people that ain't, right? Effort, effort. And that's almost with anything in life, but especially with parents, uh, I think the biggest thing you'll always hear a kid say is that they were there. So mm -hmm. you had a mother that was there, even if she couldn't give you this, she couldn't do this for you or that, but she was there for, for a conversation to talk to you. Yeah. When you're along the way, nigga. So. And we all going to feel short change though. I mean, we all going to feel short change. If you, if, if you felt like she didn't say, I love you enough, or she, you didn't feel like she supported you the way that you wanted to be supported. Um, at the end of the day, I still think that you need to be happy and ecstatic that she was there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, what what you need to do with all of that is just take the opportunity to just say thanks for being there. Simple as that. That's not. Yeah. We shouldn't overcomplicate. And, and at the end of the day, be objective. Remain objective. You know, you talked about what they didn't do. E especially as you get older and you have kids of your own, ask yourself what you didn't do. You know, mm -hmm. I quit, you want to hold your mom on your, uh, accountable for things in the past when she's human. And I think when you become mm -hmm. older and, uh, excuse me, when you become a parent yourself, you realize, man, you're just a human trying to make it, trying to figure it out. You don't have all the answers and neither did your parents, but yet you're holding up something for them from decades ago when they were just doing their best. So be objective. And ask yourself, where are you slipping as a parent? Because maybe it'll keep you in check enough to say, you know what? I got to appreciate my mom. I got to appreciate my dad because, damn, I see what it is now. And it's not easy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so. it really is. It really isn't easy. And, um, you know, I just, I honestly, I, I, we came from more of a Caribbean background. And so, therefore, you know, there was a more matriarchal uh, structure in in our family and i tell you our mother was a lioness and and because of that she has given us so many wonderful attributes right you know we're we're we're, we're competitive uh we're driven 
Uh, we don't take shit from anybody. You know, she ensured that we understood that you stand for something or fall for everything. Uh, she, she, she ensured that we weren't weak, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, but in the same breath, she also instilled, you know, a, a foundation of, of, of God and, and the fundamental of understanding, um, the importance of having a relationship, uh, with him. And there's just a lot of different positive pieces. We also got a little bit of our anger issue from her, um, as well, but <laughs> this and, is about now this is about okay <laughs> yeah yeah but you know at the end of the day you know you you sit there and you think about some of the things that they instilled in you without you even knowing those things and you and most people are not going to even realize those things until they continue to grow um, grow older and mature and really see some of the footprints in the sand that they left in your life and shit yeah yeah that's real that's real and so reevaluate everyone i, I encourage you to really think and, and remember the times where you were in need and receive that help from that from your parents and thank them for it specifically. Don't just give a broad general thank you. Say, hey, I, I remember this back in 02. You know, you did this or that. So just speak to it, you know, show real gratitude, you know. Yeah. Brunch Absolutely, with boys, man. Brunch with the boys. Hey, we want to take a time just out to hit this with a little Mother's Day special, but um, we'll be back next week uh, with a full episode. Sure. Uh, watch out for that. It should be fire. More um, ratchetness, too. More ratchetness. Yeah, always a little bit more ratchetness. This is toned down this this week no, for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, but Come you on. can find us. You can find us <laughs> on YouTube. Huge presence there. On all podcast platforms, Apple, Google, Spotify, subscribe on any gram, platform. The gram, the gram, the book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely, yeah, we definitely on all that as well, on all, all the socials. So, hey, reach out to us. We're going to be doing a Q&A soon again. Our, our last one was fire, um, and we hope that you can join us again. But, again, happy Mother's Day to you all. Enjoy your day, ladies. Ski. <laughs>